All right, Wendy, I got my meeting now, okay? I will see you. This is the best, this is the best part of COVID right here. I know, exactly. And Julie's saying she's waiting to be let in, so admit. <laughs> Julie, say it. Hey, Wendy, you going to say the Pledge of Allegiance with us? Hi, hey, Julie. You're going to say it right yeah. now. Julie, say, okay, we're all here, and I'm, uh, I'm recording it. And um, we're, we're streaming somewhere on Wait. YouTube. I don't know. I don't know where it is, Wendy. I know it's around there somewhere. But why don't we'll um, we'll get started? Wait, you are leaving something last Um. So, <laughs> sorry for the delay. Um. So I'd like to make a motion to call to order the May twenty first, twenty twenty. Uh, town board um, as police commission meeting. Second, Dan. Uh, we have a second. Sorry for the second, Dan. Uh, so I'd like to make a motion to call to right, order the May twenty first, twenty town board. Can you hear Sorry. Dan, Neil? Yeah, I had, to, I had to turn the YouTube off because it was repeating everything I said. So I think we're good to go. And um, Dan seconded. So uh, please uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Aye. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America, to the Republic, the Republic which is the nation. nation. Under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Hey, I like that shirt. What is it? It's a favorite. That's a wild, okay. that's a wild earth t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, this meeting is being held via uh, video teleconference and hopefully streamed on YouTube. Um, it's also being recorded and uploaded to the uh, New Paltz governmental website uh, tomorrow. And so um, obviously this we're doing this because of the governor's executive order, uh, temporary suspension and modification of laws. If, if people have uh, any public comments, please send them to the clerk at the town of New Paltz. And um, with that, I would like to uh, make a motion to approve the um, the police commission agenda. Second, Julie. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I, I don't have any announcements. Does anyone else have any announcements? Um, I do on the, um, the banners. Okay, well, um, I, we're gonna talk about that at the, um, the town board meeting too. Oh, right. okay, no um, problem. I have it on the sure. agenda, we're gonna talk about it. So, uh, other than that, I have no announcements for the police commission meeting. And oh, yeah, sorry. Um, so um, the only announcement I would have, I guess, for, uh, that wasn't included in what I had here is that um, we did receive confirmation um, from WatchGuard video. They're going to be their representative will be arriving next week to uh, um, get the body cameras installed. Um, so those will be um, hopefully up and running by the end of the week. Um, and then, uh, we'll have those, uh, I'm hoping to get them out, uh, on patrol, uh, you know, by, uh, by the end of next week, uh, early the following week out, yeah, the week after. Right. Um, and so, um, do you want to go into executive session now to discuss personnel or would you like to wait uh, until after we go through the monthly report? Whatever you guys are, whatever you're comfortable with, I'm, I'm fine with either. I'm going to go through the monthly report because I, hopefully I won't mess things up with the, um, the AV stuff. We'll do that next. Okay. So um, going through the monthly report, um, the, as far as commendations go, <clears throat> we have two. Uh, the first commendation is uh, for, a detective, for a detective judge. Um, it was an email that was sent to Chief Schneider um, from uh, Special Agent in Charge uh, Kearney uh, from the Oregon uh, Department of Justice. Uh, he had uh, reached out to Detective Judge um, for some assistance on an investigation uh, case 
um, Joe was able to help him out, and uh, he had uh, just written a thank you letter to the chief, um, uh, wanting the chief to know that he was of assistance and just uh, you know very helpful to him and what he needed to do. So, um, and then the other commendation letter uh, was uh, for it was addressed to Sergeant Lewis and Officer Cisco, but it also made mention um, about a third officer who was Officer Jerome Milton. Um, they had responded to a residence here in the town. Um, and uh, this letter was thanking them for um, the way they handled that call. It was, um, you know, a, a delegate call, it was a family matter, and um, uh, so they were very appreciative as to how the officers conducted themselves and, um, and the help that they were able to provide them. So, uh, and then we have uh, one use of force report, uh, and this was for an incident that took place on uh, April 7th. Um, and in this case, the, the individual that's taken into custody is a 44-year-old uh, white male, uh, approximately six feet tall, 250 pounds. Um, this stemmed from a domestic dispute. Uh, the officer in this case had responded to a, uh, a domestic dispute <clears throat> in which he was interviewing uh, the, the gentleman here um, who was involved in this. At uh, This person... Uh, uh, would not uh, comply with some of the, with the verbal commands that the officer had been uh, giving him uh, and then ultimately charged out at the officer trying to grab uh, the officer's legs. Um, the officer was able to sprawl out and use his body weight to pin the individual on the ground um, and then take him into handcuffs. Uh, the, uh, when he did so, the, the, the subject had sustained um, an abrasion or laceration uh, um, to uh, his right eyebrow, uh, rescue was called um, and uh, he was treated and, uh, and released. Um, and uh, this the matter was investigated by the on duty supervisor, was actually present at the time. And then uh, obviously you have uh, the notes from Lieutenant Butler as well. And that is all I have, um, unless there are any questions in regards to anything else that I've gone over or anything else in the report. Sorry. So I just had a quick question. That was a domestic dispute, like yes. the, the last one. And yep. um, so um, I'm just curious. And he was, he sounds like kind of a large guy was, and he was just released. Right. So um, is that, is, is there ever any follow up on, on like what the problem was with the domestic dispute? So in terms of the case itself, um, you know, we would investigate that. Um, in this particular case, this gentleman was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Um, I, there were no charges stemming from the domestic dispute oh, itself. Um, I see. If okay. that was the case, um, you know, they would be charged, but it wouldn't necessarily change the process. Um, on, for this, once we make that arrest, um, if it's a misdemeanor, then they're released on an appearance ticket. Um, okay. If it's a misdemeanor or a violation, they're released on an appearance ticket. It's not... Um, we could arraign him uh, in this particular case. We, uh, if, if there was need to arraign the individual for uh, an order of protection, um, that that would have been done. Um, but uh, that was not the case in this case for this claim. Okay, great. Thank you. Just yeah. with what's going on these days, I just worry about domestic disputes and just you know want to make sure yep. that everybody's okay. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'd like to, um, if that's it, I, um, I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session to discuss uh, matters of personnel. Second, Dan. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 So just give me one second, I have to pause the... Um... So I am, uh, the recording is back on and now I will Try to, should be smoother than this. I'll, uh, I'll try to figure this out next time. Uh, can I ask uh, the chief a question while we're doing this, Neil? Is yeah. that appropriate? Um, so chief, can you just give us a little bit of a, a, a round, you know, obviously we're living in, 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 um, in, in very different times and just wondering from your standpoint, um, how does it feel, how does it feel out there for you in, 
you know, providing security and things like that in the town these days? How you, how, what, what, it, any concerns that you have or any support you're needing in, in, you know, in the police, in the police executing their, their job? No, I, I mean, I think we're okay. Um, you know, as a supervisor alluded to, you know, we're always concerned about. How does it feel, how does it feel out there for you? About the impact with COVID. Um, but um, I think, you know, you guys, the board has provided us with the resources that we need. Um, you know, what we are seeing a lot of is, you know, there's definitely some fear and anxiety out in the, amongst the community. You know, we're seeing an increase um, in mental health calls. We're seeing an increase in substance abuse calls, um, you know, on the county level, especially. Um, but, you know, right now, I think, you know, we're able to handle what we are seeing. Um, you know, the number of domestic calls hasn't really increased too much. But what I would say is the nature of those calls seem to be more serious than they, you know, you're, you're not getting, a run, it, they're less argumentative and, and, and more physical in nature. Um, but, uh, and, and then ultimately we're getting, you know, we're getting calls in terms of pause orders. And, and you know, our approach has always been, we're going to, you know, we're going to be measured in our response. We're going to educate. We're going to do the best that we can to um, get people to, um, to, to, to be compliant with these pause orders by talking to them and educating them and, and really not you know, steer away from arrests and citations and things like that. But, you know, I think you know, the officers are doing well um, with all that. And, uh, you know, I, I think right now we're, we're, we're still okay. We're operating in a, in a good place. And, and, and guidance to the community members who see things that they don't like is call the police, not act out on your own. Yes, and, and, and or report on uh, using the honest reporting portal, um, but certainly not, uh, you know, I think tensions are high and, um, you know, we really would discourage people from taking those matters into their own hand. It may seem benign to them just to say, hey, you should have a mask or hey, you should do this, but um, the reality is you don't know how the person is going to receive that message and then those things tend to escalate. And as we've seen across the country, incidences of violence where people are being told just simply wear a mask and, and you know, violence occurs as a result of that. So, you know, we would ask them to contact us. Great. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, well, that, that's all we, so uh, we're out of executive session now and we're recording and we're streaming on YouTube and I would like to make a motion to refer uh, the hire of two part-time officers to the town board. Um, and that would be officers uh, Kaylin Marsh and Jonah Town. All in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Uh, he's he's going to be a police officer in town, Wendy. Um, and so with that, um, we have uh, three minutes, but I think we can get started for the, um, the town board. So I'd like to, um, I guess, make a motion to adjourn the town board as police commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And um, with that, I'd like to make a motion to open the uh, May 21st, 2020 uh, New Paltz Town Board meeting. What's 2020? Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, um, and so the, um, the, the uh, public hearing for the critical environmental areas is still open. Um, obviously we're not taking comments right now, but if people have comments, um, if they could send them to the, um, the uh, town clerk, and that's clerk at townofnewpaltz.org. And um, all so uh, with that, I'd like, we're just going to keep Why that. We're just going to keep that, uh, that uh, public hearing open. And um, if you'd like to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> I'd like to. I'd like to make a motion to approve the agenda. 
Second, Second. Julie. Um, oh, sorry. Um, in discussion, I, I I would like to add um, acceptance of the guardrails. Sent an email out uh, late this afternoon. And I'd like to add that to uh, number uh, seven. Okay. Uh, well, anything else? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, for announcements, town offices will be closed um, Monday, May 25th for the holiday. The reuse center will be closed Tuesday, May 27th uh, for Memorial Day. And uh, public input, um, again, for this meeting, uh, because of the, the governor's executive order for temporary suspension and modification of laws relating to disaster emergency, uh, our in-person in meetings are um, all being streamed live. Uh, comments can be sent to the clerk at the clerk of town of newpaltz.org and they will be included into the minutes. So thank you. And that, um, I guess we will start. Uh, Okay, I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, an authorized items 2A and 2B on the consent agenda. Second, Dan. And uh, just to be clear, that's for the, um, the $6,727 in Parkland funding for the Field of Dreams soccer fields. It's also to authorize the town to pay for you know seeds and other supplies that um, were used. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, and then, so Alex, um, this uh, the, I want, we have a discussion about the, uh, uh, the the banner proposal from the CIT. Yeah. Um, uh, I was talking to Sue, um, and um, we just wanted to let everybody know that the community found the New Paltz Community Foundation will be collecting donations on behalf of the town and village of New Paltz for the purpose of providing funding for the 2020 Piglets Main Street Banner Project. These donations will, I'm, I'm reading from the email, these donations will enable our local students to contribute to the beautification of Main Street and complete important community service commitments as they graduate from New Paltz High School. So we just wanted to make sure that the town and the village both, mostly with us now, the town approve that as a public acknowledgement of collection of money. I, I think it's a great idea. And um, I, I, you know, we've talked a bunch, a, bunch of, a bunch of us amongst ourselves. I, I think anything we can do to, to make it, um, to just make it a little bit better for a lot of the kids around this year and I really like this idea. So I appreciate um, CIT and I, I appreciate your working with them, Alex, on this. No, I'm happy to. They're, the kids are really excited and the banners, I looked at some of them, they look great. Um, I think that, and I think we're sort of abandoning the uh, hanging basket idea because the volunteers to water them seems like, you know, a really difficult path. As excited and enthusiastic as I was, um, I can't come up with, you know, a bunch of volunteers for that for the summer. So I think having the banners up will be a really nice thing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Alex, for doing that. I think it's really great. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so happy. Um, so we're, we're get, working with PDQ, getting those printed up. And again, the New Paltz Community Foundation is helping us with the funding so that we can pay the printing and then the putting up of the flags and um, obviously, you know, the the town, you know, they're, they're helping us also with the putting them up. So yep. we're working yeah, Chris, with them. I mean, Chris has been very helpful with this as well. Chris has been super helpful. He really has. He's been great. So if people so want, just, sorry, go ahead. If you, if people want more information about that, how would they get that? Um, what I, we just, first I just wanted like to run it through the town and just make sure that everybody was on board with it. And now that it's on board, I can write up a press release and, um, we can, I, I'll send it to everybody. And then that press release, I'll talk to, I'll make sure to run it with, I'll do it with Sue because she's the one that's, you know, yeah. the big organizer. I'm just the liaison. But, uh, once we have that, then we can just post the press release and let people know the details. Great. Yeah, so the community knows why they're up, you know, and how they got there. 
And you're saying it's a campaign, a fundraising campaign that the community foundation will sponsor yeah. or will, yeah, they'll receive the funds as, because there are, you know, if receive. you know of anybody who wants to give to that, it'll probably, the whole thing will probably cost about $1,750 is what we, yeah. And will that campaign be online or like a, you know, how do people find out about how to contribute? Certainly. I they, don't know. I don't know yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. As so soon most as likely I do, vote, most likely people will be able to don't donate to the community foundation and will be surely advertising it on yeah. social media and whatnot too. It'll definitely be on social media so right. that people oh, yeah. can get it. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, I talked to Sue and um, they don't really do Instagram, but I do. So I'm going to help them do an Instagram um, a little account. So we'll do Facebook and Instagram as soon as we have the information. Great, yeah. Uh, so if you need an official motion, uh, I make a motion to, um, to what are we doing? Uh, authorize the installation of the banners and to work with the, the uh, foundation. The Plots Community yeah. Foundation, yeah, for the fundraising. Yeah. I second that, David. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Uh, I and G. So the next is, um, I also sent this around, um, I think earlier today as well, but um, we, we've been working with, uh, you know, Jewel Community Power for the CCA, right? Um, and if, if uh, people remember back, um, Jewel is working with uh, local solar farms and ADE. Um, and, um, and so they get, um, they get some payments for everyone that signs up from our CCA for those solar farms. And, um, they are, um, they wrote me an email. They're interested in partnering with a um, local nonprofit and then donating money to a local nonprofit for every person that signs up. And I thought uh, family and new Paltz would be a good, um, a good fit. And so, um, you know, they'll, we have a letter that, you know, we'll send out, you know, saying that we're working with them um, and that, you know, every person that signs up for um, getting their electricity from a local solar farm, family of New Paltz will get $50. And so I, you know, I just want to run that by the board and make sure everyone's okay with that. You know, it's not costing the town anything. We're just sending a letter. Um, you know, I think, you know, we could also have it set up where the, the town keeps the money, but I think they need the money. A lot of people need the money right now. Um, and I think it's a good, they're doing a lot right now. Sounds like a great idea, Neil. It would be great to know what, um, um, you know, at the, end, at the end of this time, like how much money is, is, uh, is generated and, and donated to them. Uh, but I think yeah, they'll let us know. Great. So um, if, if everyone's uh, like to make a motion to work with Jewel um, for COVID-19 relief efforts and to get money to family of New Paltz. David second. second, Dan. Really? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, um, and so this is the last, this is, I'd like to make a motion to, um, to hire two part-time police officers, uh, Officer Kaylin Marsh and Jonah Town. Second. second, Dan. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, and so I'd like to uh, make a motion to approve the May warrant in the amount of $530,118.59. Second, Dan. Uh, discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, this last one is, um, you know, we have some official paperwork um, that Joe... That, that Joe sent around today. Um, it's really just to kind of formalize uh, a vote that we, uh, before Alex was on the board, but it's um, the, um, this is really, ex it's on the town website. I sent it around earlier. It's, it's our formally accepting the gift of the guardrails from the Mohawk Preserve. And um, if you've driven up on Butterville or, um, or Gatehouse Road, you see those nice wooden guardrails. They're going to, they're giving them to the town and um, we're going to take responsibility for them and it's just a um you know a motion some official paperwork saying that we all agree to that 
everyone will have to sign this eventually. Um, I guess it goes in the record. So uh, this is, I just, I'd like to, I'd like to make a motion to accept the, um, the gift of the guardrails from the Mohan Preserve. Second, Dan. Discussion? I think Wendy seconded. <laughs> All in favor? Just as far as discussion. As far as discussion, Neil, sorry if I missed it. Um, this will mean is it the case that people can't already park there, cannot already park there? Or would this mean parking will be ending there now? It is already ended there, Julie. The, it's already the, ended. Okay. This, this guardrail is right up against the road, so there's no way to park on that yeah, side. Okay. But people have already figured out a way to park on the other side and you know, yeah. right in front of a little no parking sign. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thanks. I, I haven't tried to park there in a long, long time. So, so do we, I. And, and so the, the, the good news is, I think, you know, this is one of the steps in, um, they're finishing everything up and getting the, um, at least the temporary certificate of occupancy. So we should be, they're, they're that much closer to opening up the gatehouse. And so that should be happening soon. Neil, can I just ask a question? Maybe you know the answer, maybe you don't. Um, the no parking signs that were put on Butterville, I remember being part of that with you and approving those near where the River to Ridge um, crossover is on Butterville. But there are also no parking signs now up by uh, Lenape um, that I don't remember us approving that. Was that done by Mohawk Preserve directly or was that something that I missed? Do you, would anyone remember like those no parking signs being approved up there? Or did we not need to? We did not vote to put any no parking signs up near uh, Lenape. There, we only we voted, and it the only signs that are in the code, so the only ones that are valid are from Pine Road to the um, to the north. Yep, Butterville. Yeah, I, I wasn't mean, aware there are any on near yeah, to the south. Right, right off, right by right, right between Lenape and and um, and two ninety nine, there are. You know, three or four really, and they're really close together too. They, you know, they don't have to be that close together, first of all. And I don't think we approved them. And I don't so, think we did either. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask how that happened. That maybe Chris knows if he was part of it or how that how that went down. But I'll, I'll reach out to Chris and ask. Great. Yeah, that would be good because if they. I mean, if we're going to do it, we have to make sure it's done correctly. Yep. And it's it's a lot more it's, it's a lot more complicated than just putting the signs up, as you know. Yep. Okay, I'll I'll reach out to Chris and ask. Um, did we did we vote on the uh, the guardrails? Oh, we did. We did. If we uh, if we voted on the guardrails and, and everyone's in favor of it, that's the only thing I had left on the agenda, so we can adjourn. Neil, I gotta tell you, man, you win the award. You chair a meeting, you run the technology, <laughs> and you're an excellent dad all at the same time. Yeah, Aww. I I second that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll see. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I'm, buying, I'm, I'm buying twisty cone tonight for the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, Bye everybody. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs>